Right, this is the junction point I was at in the past. <coughs> I've done this walk from West Quantock Head. You go up there <coughs> to go to Bicknolla. You can get by the road as well <coughs> if you want to. Here's Coombe Cottage. I'm going to join the path back up now near the plantation. I'm going up past the Coombe Cottage and through that gate. And this is the wee valley up through here. That's a pheasant or a chicken, I'm not sure. Right, let's go back through here again. Where you've got the junction point. There we go. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go left, up that way. Here we go then. Oh, look, the pheasant. Over and out for a minute. Oh. Oh, it's gone. There it goes. It's a pheasant. This is the plantation. These sort of trees are. And I'm hoping plan A. I don't want to go to West Quantock Head. That is not on the plan. My plan is to get up there and then make my way back. I think I've done this skirting bit before. If I haven't done this bit, I've been down there, but no. I think I've done this bit. Both ways. See, once there's a little bench, look, once the, um, the leaves have all gone, you, you'll have brilliant views across to Exmoor here. Lots of little birds, busy. I don't know what happens. Some emigrate, don't they? Um, some stay for the winter. You get the murmurations of the starlings. Probably coming up to that s shortly. Yeah, I need to be up there. The next turning I will take up, because like I said, this leads to West Quantock Head, which is the Coleridge Walk. This is the Coleridge Walk that I've done to Bicknoller or back to Holford. It's quite a long route, by the way. Um, it's not on the agenda today. I will be doing a bit of it, but I need to get up, up to, through the plantation, 
Beacon Hill, get across there to Smith's Coombe and down, then I will rejoin this walk again further over. But it all depends on, it all depends on there being a way up, apart from just ploughing up Newton for the best. And believe me, I've done that before. Not here, in, in other walks. Look at these lovely big cones that matter, aren't they? Hi, big pines. I'm just passing through again. Big Scots pines. You'll be here all winter giving a bit of oxygen, won't you? But over there, you see, you'll have Dunkery Beacon. You can't see it at the moment. There might be a, a patch in a minute where I can zoom in to Dunkery Beacon and Exmoor where I was a couple of weeks, a month ago. Two weeks ago. Or even three weeks ago. The time, the time flies. You know? I'm still catching up with doing the videos for the... Uh, Porlocked hikes. Um, I've just, I'm just on the last day, day four now, and I'm trying to fit videos in between because I'm out all the time. So a bit longer video, just to give you an idea of the terrain. It's getting very light now. I feel as if I could just walk up there and I'd be there, but I got a feeling there is a track in a minute. So I'll try and keep to the track. If I get a bit, not panicky, but thinking, oh God, I'm, I'm getting too close to West Quantock Head, I'm just gonna turn up. Simple as that. Now is this called the plantation, all this down here? Cause this looks like an orchard, sort of. And yet, and yet it looks like young trees that aren't apples. There's a whole load of it down there, isn't it? Replenishing. <sighs> yeah, so I'm going to turn off again to take some more photos. <laughs> 